Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of ERB Reviews. Today we're taking a look at the Philips Go Light Blue, and this is a light therapy device that people, I think, generally buy um, around this time of year when people start to feel a little bit depressed um, without getting enough sunlight and uh, your energy levels tend to go back um, kind of down into the toilet a little bit. This is the um, what I believe they call the plus model, and this is model number HF3332. There's a couple different versions um, of this device you can buy. Uh, one is a cordless model, which is what we have here with a rechargeable battery. And then you can buy one, obviously, with a just a, a cord that's attached. Um, right out of the gate, I'll tell you, I, I recommend the rechargeable version um, if you do end up keeping the device because I think it makes it a bit more portable and um, certainly worth the couple extra bucks um, to have that rechargeable capability. It does have uh, LED um, blue lights that mimic the natural sunlight on a uh, clear kind of a clear sky day. Actually, I shouldn't say the sunlight. It just kind of mimics the natural light that would come through um, the atmosphere. And it is 100% UV free. So you don't have to worry about uh, any harm from that um, particular um, aspect. But um, so it is LED technology. And I believe Philips says that it, I don't know if it's true or not, because I haven't had it that long, but I think for 30 minutes a day, the LEDs will last somewhere around 50 years. It does have a um, brightness selection switch, so you can actually adjust the intensity of the light. And it also has an auto on-off timer. Actually, I should say it's, it's mostly just an auto off timer. Uh, and you can adjust that from 1 to 60 minutes. And it even comes with a travel case. So I will take you through the quick unboxing, although I'm not going to bore you with unboxings because I think that's kind of ridiculous. I'm just going to actually show you what comes in the kit without showing you uh, what plastic wrap looks like. So this is the travel case. It's just a little sleeve here that the device actually slides in. It's like a, um, you know, it's, it's not real fancy. It's not leathery. It's like a rubbery material, um, but basically allows you to actually slide the device and maybe pack it in your suitcase if you're going to hit the road and protect it. You also get a uh, AC adapter cord here, uh, fairly long cable. So when you do have to charge it, I would say you get about five uses um, out of the device. If you're running it for about 30 minutes, I'd say you get about five um, cycles out of it before you have to charge it. And it doesn't take very long to charge. And of course, uh, the star of the show here is the device. Now, um, it's very small. I'd say it's probably six to eight inches long on each side, perfect square almost. Um, you have a very simple LED panel module here. And then down here, you have actually a touchscreen display um, that actually, if you give the power button one little push on the side, you actually see you can um, start to read some of it. On the back here, you have a a simple kickstand. Um, and it's actually one kind of, it's a, it's a metal kickstand or has metal in it. At least it's a magnet. So you don't lose it. So when you pack it into the sleeve, it's, it's easy to get to. And then you just simply pop it in the back there and then you are ready to go. Now what just happened a second ago was, um, the power button is kind of a multi selector switch. You push it on and off once it gets you the display, which is already on. And if I push it again, what'll end up happening is the led panel will actually come on here. So there you go. It's going to wreak a little havoc on the camera, but there's really no sense in me keeping that on because it doesn't really do you much good. Um, the other side, power button on this side, other side is the, um, the power cord slot. So very simple design, power cord, on off button, kickstand, kickstand holder. And then again, everything is kind of controlled here uh, from the touchscreen display. On there, you can adjust the alarm function, the clock function, how long the light will stay on and off. Um, if you want to wake up to the light, which I don't recommend because that's pretty intense, uh, you can set the alarm to do that. And I believe there's also a chime function for the alarm. So if you don't want the light and you just want the chime, you can do that. You can do the chime and the light. Um, I wouldn't buy this for an alarm clock, personally speaking. If you're looking for a wake-up lamp, I believe Philips has other devices that you can buy, um, which will kind of wake you up at a natural progression. This is, I think, advertised as more of an energy lamp than a... Um, a wake me up nicely kind of lamp, but you know, this isn't a Zen clock by any means. You put this thing on, you probably want to punch it and throw it across the room um, when it flashes in your eyes at six in the morning. Now I'll tell you right now, if the, this thing is bright, there's no doubt about it. Um, but you know, Phillips doesn't advertise that you shine this thing directly in your face. Uh, I believe they recommend a 45 degree angle or somewhere around there. So the light just kind of cascades across your eyes. Um, so you should be able to read a book comfortably and have this light on and, um, it shouldn't be blinding, you know, and there's different intensity levels. And the other thing, um, probably worth mentioning, which I didn't realize until I 
kind of got into this is you actually take a kind of a light therapy test. It's kind of a web-based question and answer session. It doesn't take long, maybe five minutes to fill out a survey form. And then Philips kind of sends you an email and says, this is how um, you should be using the device and, and for how long. So an example for me is I like to get up at 6.30 every morning. So every morning it tells me I should use this at 6.30 for 30 minutes every day. Um, and it even says you can use it during the day if you're feeling a bit sluggish. Although it does caution you not to use it too close to bedtime because I think that'll certainly um, kind of mess with your sleep cycle. I believe it says two hours, but um, something you certainly want to read the materials about before you use it. Again, um, my initial take on it is I like the design, very lightweight, um, very portable. If you did want to take it with you on a trip, if you travel and you wanted to make sure you stayed on cycle, uh, the moment of truth really is, does it work? I mean, that's the one thing I wanted to know and the reason why I picked one up myself. I don't particularly suffer from some of those, um, you know, doomsday kind of scenarios. I think a lot of people feel when the winter blues come around, but, um, I don't honestly feel any more energetic than I did before I bought it. And so that's the truth. Now, if you look on Amazon or any other website that has a review, um, portion to it, a lot of people like these things. Uh, so I think with most things in life, it's psychological. And if this light convinces you that you're feeling more energetic, then, um, then that's great. I'm sure there's some time, some scientific proof somewhere that says blue light shining in your face for 30 minutes a day gives you more energy. But personally speaking, I don't feel any more energetic than I ever did. I still fall asleep on the couch at night when I'm watching TV. I still wake up groggy. I still sleep pretty horribly. Um, and I've tried a couple of different intensities. I've tried, you know, 20 minute exposures, 30 minute exposures. And I've been using this now pretty regularly for about, um, three weeks and I, I just don't feel it. Um, now one thing I'll say is I do feel like it wakes me up faster in the morning. So let's say I get up in the morning at six 30 and I, I wake up and I walk the dog and I come back in the house and I sit down and I flash this thing in my face for 30 minutes. I do feel a bit more awake, but I also tend to think that if you were able to sit by the window, if there was sun that day, you'd probably feel the same thing. If you actually just took 30 minutes and sat by your window and let the sun shine in your face, obviously in the winter time, that's a bit hard to do outside, but so I don't know. Um, for me personally, I don't think it works. Um, again, you can find hundreds you won't find like 10 or 12. You'll find 600 reviews on Amazon that people swear by this thing. Um, for the hundred bucks for what I paid for it, I think it's going to go back in the box and go back to Amazon. Unless somebody emails me, I'll, I'll just ship it to you and you can buy it off of me. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it was fun to try. I, you know, I think they may be onto something for some people, but for me personally, again, uh, I just don't think it's, uh, all that it's cracked up to be. So that again is the Philips go light blue. And that is, uh, this particular model again is HF three, 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 two, I believe. And this is the rechargeable model. And again, uh, I know I'm kind of repeating myself here, but I'd certainly recommend the rechargeable model. Um, if this is something that you're interested in, you know, pay the extra, whatever, 10 or 15 bucks and, and go with that. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop us an email at ERB reviews at gmail.com or leave us a comment here and feel free to subscribe to our channel. We always enjoy uh, adding folks and, you know, certainly we do this just to uh, entertain you. So um, love it when we get new subscribers and I uh, always love the feedback and the two way conversation. So uh, thanks again for watching. Have a great night and good luck with your winter blues. Take care.